What's going on, everybody? It's me again. Today, we're going to try the Flux model from Civit AI. What I have here is a model that runs on low VRAM. It also runs in SD Forge with minimal settings and even in the default workflow of Comfy UI. This model is Stockio New Reality. If you want to try this model, you can download it from Civit AI. The model is large, around 20 gigabytes. Please check the link in the description section. Let's try first in SD Forge. This is our model. Here are the VAE and text encoder settings. For low bits, let's use automatic FP16 LoRa. Let's set the GPU weights to 3500. For the sampling method, let's use Flux Realistic. The width is 832 and the height is 1216. Let's take a prompt from Civit AI. Let's try this one. Let me show you the task manager to see the progress in GPU usage. This is the graphics card I'm using. Here is the VRAM and system RAM. Look guys, the GPU usage is around 3 gigabytes only because we limited the GPU weight to 3,500. Look at that, it's so cool. The image details are very similar to the original. This is really good. The generation time is a bit slow, almost three minutes, but not bad for three gigabytes of VRAM. Now let's try this model with minimal settings. I changed the settings to SD. As you can see, we only have the checkpoint, text encoder, and clip in our settings. For the sampling method, let's use Flux Realistic. The schedule type is normal. Width is 1216. Height is 832. CFG scale is 1. Let's open the task manager so we can see the GPU consumption when our settings are minimal. About 80% of the GPU is being used when the settings are minimal. Guys, this is just a demo on how to use the model in SD Forge with minimal settings. I still advise you to use the Flux settings so you can take advantage of the features for low bits and GPU weights. Let's check the result. The eagle's head looks 3D and it's a bit far from the original image. The man in the background also looks realistic and the leather armor looks nice as well.
Let's try it with the hands, fingers, and text to see if the model can recognize them. A photograph of a woman smiling wearing a pink t-shirt with the text, Save the Earth, showing her two palms and ten fingers. The model recognized the keyword smiling, save the earth, the pink color of the t-shirt and the hands, but the fingers aren't visible. Let's try again. Wow, this is better. She's smiling, wearing a pink t-shirt with Save the Earth written on it. The hands and fingers are perfect too. This is really nice. The generation time is quick too, just 1 minute and 40 seconds. Now, let's generate an image in Comfy UI using the default workflow. We won't change anything in the workflow, guys. We'll just adjust the settings. This is the model, Sto Ikeo New Reality. I'm not sure if I'm pronouncing it right. Let's change this to 1216 and 832. Guys, if you are beginners, I suggest using this model. You don't need a complicated workflow for it. Set CFG to 1. Change this one to simple. Leave the prompt at default. Let's check the GPU. I noticed that when the settings are minimal in SD Forge and here in Comfy UI, the GPU consumption for generating an image is the same, around 85%. Look guys, even using the default settings can still produce a good quality image. This model is really nice. In fact, it received an overwhelmingly positive review. All right guys, our video ends here. I hope this simple tip helps you in a straightforward way. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe. Until my next video, see you again soon. Thanks for watching and take care.